Hello? Hello, is that Renee? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Okay, I can great. hear you now. So Okay, great. Did I pronounce your name correctly? Um, How did you say it? Renata? Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> Very good. So I just, uh, I've got a few questions to ask about your dog, Einstein, just to sort of share mm-hmm. with everyone. So maybe if you could tell us where you uh, live, like what country and state you live in. Um, I live in Watonga, Oklahoma, in the United States. Mhm. Okay. And so your dog uh, is called Rhinestone. It's a so uh, Rhinestone, and he with what breed of dog is he, and age? He is a full-blooded Basset Hound, and I adopted him from a family, so I'm not positive how old he is, but I'm guessing he's around 13 or 14. Oh years wow. Old. Okay. And so. Um, so what was going on with your dog recently? So you had some challenges going on with Ryan? Yeah. So about the 1st of March, he um, lost control of one of his back legs, and he was just, you know, his back end was really wobbly, and he was dragging his left back leg. And, um, you know, I took him to the vet, and the vet pretty much told me that he had nerve damage mm. and that it probably wouldn't correct and that he would just drag that leg until he got sores, and then we would have to amputate it. Well, oh, that gosh. didn't sit well with me mm, nice. as a dog mom, so um, yeah, started looking for other options. Okay. And so uh, so what did you then do? So you said you looked for other options. So what did you well, yeah, then? I had actually been, um, you know, on the sizzle for pets page and I'm pretty familiar with Sizzle anyway mm-hmm. and um, so literally I left the vet and I went and I started him on the age pill that day because I was like I will not be we're not going to be defeated this is we're going to see what we can do with the age pill great and uh, how much did you start giving Rhinestone I just started him on one capsule a day mm-hmm. um, because that has kind of been what people were doing. So that's literally all he's been on is just one capsule a day. Okay. And how do you give it to him? Do you, um, is it easy to, for him to eat it? I mean, do you have any challenges there? I usually hide it in something and he'll, you know, he'll take it pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Um, There have been times that he's, you know, kind of figured it out and I've just (laughs) had to (laughs) make him take it. (laughs) <laughs> but um, he, yeah, he usually will take it in like some peanut butter or a hot dog or some cheese or something like that. Yeah, pretty easy. Yeah, because I noticed when I give it to Milo, I sometimes I stick it inside a little bit of piece of banana. But there's the odd occasion mm-hmm. that you'll notice that it's in there, yeah. and then the, <laughs> yeah. the banana will go and the tablet will end up on the floor. <laughs> yeah. So I can usually if to I that. can get him something that he doesn't bite then Mm -hmm. I can, you know, that works better. Yeah, definitely. And so uh, how do you feel that it's, like, helped him? Like, when did you start noticing any changes, and what did you notice? Oh, my gosh, I felt like it almost was, like, an immediate, you know, after I I posted three weeks after he had been on it, but at three weeks he had got his foot back up underneath him, and he was no longer dragging it. He wasn't using it a lot, but he wasn't dragging it, which was, a huge deal, you know, that's, you know, yeah, that's kind of warding off the amputation thing. So he wasn't using it too well, but he was, he was getting it underneath him again. And so that was, that was a big thing for me, you know, and he was definitely getting more mobile after at just three weeks. And I was like, I was blown away. Wow. Wow. So three weeks. And so um, how long has it been now for Rhinestone that he's been on the age pill? I was looking at that, and I think it's been around nine weeks now, mm-hmm. and he he's using his leg. He walks on it almost pretty normally. He goes, he's a little oh, bit wow. wobbly. You can tell mm-hmm. that he can, he still has a little bit of, you know, ways to go, but he's also running, and he's very useful. You know, he can spin circles and, you know, just do what he couldn't do. And within the last couple of weeks, he's actually – started using the stairs again 
to our oh, house. Wow. Like before we were having to, we had to purchase a sling to kind of help him get into the house. Mm-hmm. And he's he's now doing that on his own now. So oh, that's fantastic. He must be really happy. That's wonderful. Yes. Yes, that's it's he's almost back to almost full mobility. Um, he requires very little assistance from us. You know, he's definitely getting you know, his mobility back, which was which was a big deal. Wow, fantastic. And so, um, how do you feel about the age pill now and do you do you share it or tell any other of your friends or family who, you know, have pets? I I do like I yes um, I think that the age pill was you know the the deciding factor on you know getting rhinestone back to his youthful self um, I don't believe that we would be where we are today without it mm-hmm. fantastic great what an awesome story I'm so grateful that you were able to take the time today and share the story um, because yeah, I'm sure awesome. that. Yeah, thank you. I'm sure that um, heaps of people listening will really enjoy listening to the story and get a lot out of it, and it'll inspire some other people as well. So thanks yes. again. Yeah. No problem. All right. Well, thank you for your time today. I'll speak to you soon. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.